Hello family and friends, welcome back to the channel. I'm Tanisha with Life with Tanisha RN and today I am unboxing the latest faith-based sub box from Firefield Creations. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. So glad that you joined me and everyone. Uh, I am a PR team member for this company and let me just tell you, I absolutely love it. Not because I'm a PR team member, but this products, this company, produce everything faith-based so my war binders my faith planner my faith journal all have contents from this company so let's go ahead i took it out of the box and just move the wrap out of the way i hope everyone is having a great start to ending august 2024 and welcoming in september 2024 summer is going to get its walking papers very soon i'm so excited about it all right so the first thing we have here is the in this box i love whenever i get a sub box to look for this card to kind of tell me what's going on inside um i'm gonna do something a little bit different this time i'm just gonna run through this in this box so we have our brief message which is the challenge and let's see if I have, I do. Just gonna pull this to the side so that I can share it. I should have had this already ready, but. All right, so, and then we have the eight, eight and a half by 11 papers. That's acetate, vellum, and double side mat. Sticker sheets, they're four, five by seven, four by, four and a half by seven and a half sticker sheets. Gonna show you those. Journaling cards, days and dates alphanumeric die cuts my favorite parts of this washi and then a journal one half letter so let's go ahead and get started this is the message that comes in and i absolutely love this and inside you'll see the message for the month i won't read this here so if you want to pause it and read it but it's good reading and there are scriptures that kind of centers around the theme by the way which is let your light shine the monthly challenge you have 30 days so each day you get a challenge and it challenges you you to help you actively let your light shine each pair with the relevant scripture and so what i do let's see so like this was the august and I just take it out. And so when I was reading it, I just found something to just kind of highlight with it here. And this is what I did. Without going through all of that. All right. So I'm going to put that to the side. This is the journaling cards. let your light shine and on the back of these they're blank so i typically like to put a scripture there you have this cute little doll here and she cute she's look like she's working in a beauty salon so she's letting her light shine there then we have this cutie here she's looks like streets of a busy city here she's letting her light shine let your light shine wherever you are and this cutie here she's at work she's letting her light shine there at work love those and these are the die cuts now the die cuts are on um, clear matte sticky paper so these are perfect and they a lot of they're going to represent like the dolls we've just seen here like her i love some florals and there are some more florals and there are some more ladies there and there she is cutie and there are some more ladies some more 
It kind of remind me like of a doily. It's like a pale pink like. I'm not sure if it's coming through really well. This board is darker. And there's some more florals. And the other cute dolly. Look at her shoes. Like the little witch. <laughs> All right, let's move them to the side. And this is the journal one half letter. Isn't that beautiful? Those rules. And this sides are like. And I, I like to use these as reference journal faith, of course. Um, I've used it like to put scriptures in. I've used it during my Bible study. I put it in my purse. Like if I'm visiting another church, I will keep the sermon notes from that visiting church in one of the journals that I take with me. Um, just so that I can separate and know where I was, who I was, where I was visiting. We, My church has visited a, another church. We've done that a few times. So this is what I typically like to have. Now, the sticker sheets. And so we've got the little dolls again here. We have uh, Let Your Light Shine. We've got some floors. we got this cute doll. Look at her shoes there. Oh, my goodness. This is cute. And then we've got a scripture here, Matthew 5, 16. Let your light shine before men in such a way that they may see your good deeds and moral excellence and recognize and honor and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Amen. Love that. Then we have this one. She's. I just love her shoes. Love it. Shine your light. Look at the little flashlight. It's cute. Um, and then here, this is Matthew fourteen. Matthew five fourteen. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. That's right. What's the point of having something? You're going to hide it. Be a light. Isn't she cute? Cute, cute, cute. And we got some florals, of course. Florals. Now, these are the alphanumeric. And these are the days and date. And these are the, let's see, these are the, the paper sheets. And look at there. And so this is double sided, of course. It's cute. And then this is the acetate. And it says, let your light shine. Let's see if I can put it. Okay. Let your light shine. My light is shining, isn't it? <laughs> On this acetate. And then, let's see. Maybe this side. We have some really nice floral floral vellum. It's cute. Okay. And then... We have, oh, we have our freebies. You got September, surrounded by some florals. And then we have some praying ladies. Aren't they cute? And then you are... The light of the world, a city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. And this is on the back side. It's just a thank you 
or your purchase. And I love that she included this prayer. Lord, I pray for Tanisha. I ask that you bless this customer because they have been a blessing to my business and ministry. I pray that, pray that their walk with you becomes close each day. Amen. And the next thing, last thing that we have is some washi. Let's see if I can get it open here. Yes. Okay, I'm going to probably use one of those. I've had these scissors for so long. I really like them. I think I've worn them out. All right. Uh -oh. So, let me see. Well, I see, I know it says let your light shine, but I wanted to take some off here. If it'll work with me. Well, everybody, am I the only one that Washi gives a fit to when it you first let's see if I can try something else surely this will help me well all right I think I almost have it here okay <sighs> all right let your light oh <laughs> okay i think i put too many holes in it but it's let your light shine let your light shine yeah i dug in it too much so let's see if i can Get a piece. I hate to waste washi. Here's a piece. All right. Let me put it on this one. Let your light shine. I like that. I've got to set my journal up for the month. So, all right. Well, friends, that is it for this unboxing. Thank you so much for joining me today. And this, if you are you subscribed to Firefield Creations Faith Based Box, if so, have you received yours yet? If not, what inside the box that I showed that you like. Also, as I mentioned, I am a PR team member for the company. So in the description box, I'll have a link to the website. You can save 20% on anything in the shop except for the faith-based faith sub box. So anything in the shop, any, any, anything except for that one thing, because it's already priced reasonably. And if you go on the site, you'll see exactly what I mean by that. So make sure you check it out okay and until next time friends take care of yourselves and each other's bye